don't worry about the next because this your boy what who who's that chris with the next all right so today's video will be on wendy williams and i'm tired of the me too situation all right so i want to talk about the me too situation because i do feel like it's getting out of hand you got a lot of liars and a lot of liars uh, you know to try to cover up the truth so when the whole Aziz Ashir, um, you know, the guy who was on Saturday Night Live, he's a comedian, the Arab dude, uh, the, his accuser came out and basically, basically tried to sabotage him, but she basically had a bad date, you know, she blew him off twice and then was thinking about, you know, letting him hit it. I guess she didn't. She just blew him off twice. And he was commanding her to like, was, do all these sexual things. But the thing about it is, she didn't say no. You know, she didn't say no. She didn't you know, fight, FaceTime it. And she didn't, uh, you know, walk out. And a lot of people were putting her on blast. Let her be a prime example of that is not a Me Too situation. Because the whole Harvey Weinstein and other people coming out with other people and the whole um, documentary with these pet, um, pedophiles, um, I, I, the name escapes me at the moment, um, but um, with the Charlie Sheen, you know, allegedly raping uh, Corey Hames and then with Corey Feldman coming out with all the um, allegations in the movie, you know, it was stuff was starting to really shake up, really get. Um, <laughs> really about to put Hollywood on a stand of still but now you got people who just um, there's even this chick out here uh, talking about Tupac raped her a me too situation like really I mean Tupac is you know possibly dead <laughs> I say possibly or even if he is or isn't it's like no girl you was a groupie you know that's not a me too situation you have a lot of people that feel like you know this is bad i could ruin his career but you know i'm getting a, a one million dollar payout two million dollars maybe 30 million dollar payout so you know he should be fine he can recuperate that you know i gotta eat so i don't mind lay, lying on somebody it's li lying on somebody's character you know it's real horrible and then the people that actually get raped or sexually harassed they're not going to be able to come out because there's so many so many liars like that Aziz, a shared chick, uh, his, his um, accuser, she should look stupid. Everybody done blasted her. From the newscasters, everybody done blasted her. That, that was just a bad date. You should have just walked out and said, no, I'm not sucking it. And just walked out. But she didn't. You know, she should be a prime example. So, and two, whole Tupac um, now is on the, is on the case. She's trying to uh, try Tupac. His, his mother passed away, like, I think two years ago. So who is she finna sue? Like, like how, like, how, what relevance, like, is this getting out of hand? And I think with Wendy Williams, I think that's what Wendy Williams was trying to say, that she, that she wasn't tired of the actual Me Too um, situation. It's just that she was tired of all these stupid false accusers, you know, accusing people falsely and it's just coming out like oh yeah you know i was with Elvis presley back in the day and he touched my butt now i'm me too you know it's getting taken out of context just simply like the black uh, lives matter um thing you know it's black history you know just gotta put that out there but yeah it's, it's just getting out of hand just like with the internet, you know, it's a good thing, but you know, you got stupid people who just like ruining stuff for other people. So, what's y'all take on it? Any comments, questions, concerns, leave me in the comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about, comment section below. Till then, this will be your boy Christopher Next. Peace.